Hey guys, welcome to another computer graphics tutorial. Today we'll be learning about composite transformation in computer graphics for rotation operation. So let's say we want to learn about rotation composite transformation. First, you need to know what is rotation operation, okay, or what is rotation transformation. So if you don't know what is rotation transformation, I have already made a video on that. You can go and check it out first. I'll put the link in the description, okay. Now, if you know already what is rotation transformation, then we can learn about rotation composite transformation. So let's say you have got two rotation transformation. First one is with angle A and second one is with angle B. So instead of performing rotation operation twice, what we can do is we can perform rotation composite transformation. Now, what is the meaning of that? Basically, what we are doing is we are combining the two rotation operations into a single rotation matrix and then we are performing the rotation operation only once. Okay, so we can apply to original position P to get the new position P dash after rotation like this. So first we'll perform, uh, let's say we have got first rotation operation A over here and we do multiplication with our original position coordinates that is P and then we perform the multiplication between the two rotation matrices and once we perform multiplication between these two matrices we get the final rotation operation that is it is known as a rotation composite transformation that is R is equal to A plus B that is you can just add the two angles that is A and B and you can perform the rotation with the addition that is the final outcome of this addition of a plus b into the original coordinate position to get the new coordinate position okay so let's say uh, what is the formula for rotation rotation transformation the formula is like this the new coordinate position p dash is equal to we have got cos a let's say the first angle is angle a okay for first rotation the angle is a okay so the formula is like this cos a minus sine a then you have got sine a and cos a okay and then you have got your original coordinate position x comma y so this is how we get your new coordinate position for one angle okay for the second angle it is going to be like this that is second rotation transformation it is p dash is equal to whatever you get over here okay so let's say you have got cos b minus sine b and sine b and cos b multiply it with the new position that you had gotten over here that is after the multiplication or after the first rotation whatever the position you get over here so we'll write it like this x dash comma y dash for the first one okay so instead of performing two times this rotation operation what we can do is we can perform it for a plus b okay so p dash is equal to cos a plus b then minus sine a plus b then we have got sine a plus b and cos a plus b so this saves us a lot of time and a lot of calculation when we can perform the rotation composite transformation. So you can perform it for not just one uh, or two angles, you can perform it for multiple angles. Okay. So this is how we perform rotation composite transformation. That is when you have more than one rotation transformation, you can combine them by adding all the angles together and then performing the final rotation with just the total of the angles with a plus b or a plus b plus c and so on okay so i hope you got this rotation composite transformation if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comment section below thank you very much so that's it for today guys thank you very much for watching if you have any queries feel free to ask them in the comment section below if you have any suggestions please write them in the comment section below if you like the video please share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel thank you very much